Hi, it's Dr. Parikh. Uh, this is your overview for module three. You've survived two weeks so far. Congratulations. Uh, and this week we really start actually outlining and drafting. So you're getting to the part that feels like writing your paper. Um, and we're a little less than halfway through, somewhere in between a third and uh, or so. Um, so there's the foot. <clears throat> Sorry, so the focus kind of describes what we're going to do. It's like this video, but in text form. Um, your readings are still pretty much the same, just plugging away. Um, and then the videos will walk you through the steps. Again, it starts with uh, kind of the Sukman readings uh, and then some more about APA style, how you're actually going to format your paper, how you're going to do it in Word. Uh, and then we get into the videos where I walk you through each step of the assignments. Uh, so the, the learning activities, you're going to start with the normal discussions. Now we're up to six discussions. That's how it's going to kind of last from here on out. Um, so you'll do your reading role. You'll get an email telling you what role you have. Um, the reports from the reporter. This is the one all sort of an all skate. Everybody in the class participates in this one. Then you do your check in. You do uh, and you actually do two parts of your outlines you're going to post for feedback and then uh, you'll also part post a little sort of whatever you want from your literature review whatever you want feedback on uh, and you'll give feedback for each of those and i'll float around to try to help to try to clarify things um, and feel free to email me if you know to, if there's a discussion where you're like i think it should be done this way another person thinks it should be done another way which of us is right? Um, that's one of the benefits of these conversations is you find out when other people have different ideas and you can know that you need to come clarify with me who has the right way of doing it. Um, more work in the orange book, the workbook, another APA quiz. Uh, and now you're going to take that concept map and you're actually going to turn it into an outline of just your theme. So instead of even doing an outline for the whole paper, we do an outline for each small piece as we go. Um, so you're going to do the themes and the discussion. Uh, in a lot of ways, the discussion, it, the only thing that's hard about the discussion is understanding what each section is supposed to be. Once you understand it, it's really plug and play. Um, you just plug in each piece. It's very formulaic. Uh, so that's actually um, one of the earlier things you're going to write. Because you are going to draft, you're going to try to take two paragraphs from your themes outline, which will be about five paragraphs. Uh, so you're going to take two of them and try just writing them. And I have you do just a little bit at first so that you can get feedback on just a little bit. Um, and actually, in the future, if it says one paragraph, I might decide to actually cut that assignment down a little because I really just want to be able to give you some feedback early on, fix misconceptions. Um, because in the past, when people have done their entire draft, and I say, you know, I, I harp on the same mistake over and over again. And at the end, they're like, oh, now I know what you want. Uh, so the idea is that you can get um, feedback. I probably will actually keep it two paragraphs. Sorry for getting anyone's hopes up. Um, but really, once you have your outline done, it's not that much work to make it a paragraph. So it's really more me giving you feedback about whether you're on track with the topic sentences, whether you're tying things together. And a lot of it is about your tone, that professional tone, that uh, avoiding bias. Um, you will uh, actually draft your research questions. So you're going to pick one of the measures that we talked about, possibly two, and you're going to um, write a possible, you're going to write two possible research questions. Um, and later I'll help you pick one. Then we get into, you'll write a full draft of your discussion section for your literature review. Um, and that comes at the end of the paper, but it, again, it's often actually the easiest to write. And so I think it's good to have you start with that. Um, you're going to revise your research question. You're going to pick one. So that way, as you write your literature review, you can do it with this end game in mind instead of doing a generic literature review and then suddenly talking about a study, which is kind of jarring as a reader. Um, and you're going to start your peer review. You get points just for sending the email. Um, so emailing your section draft. So you're going to upload your discussion draft here in Blackboard. Uh, I'm going to grade it and give you feedback, but you're also going to email that same draft to a peer. Uh, and I believe I have the attachment here. If not, I have it in uh, 
the attachment for next week, you have a few days to read it and there's a really structured feedback form. Um, in the past when I've just said, hey, give somebody feedback, read it and let them know what they're doing well and not, students feel really um, unsure what to do. Um, but once actually Dr. Sitnik started this, kind of creating just a little worksheet for students to do um, with basically yes and no questions, and that seems to help quite a bit. So you can go through and look. Um, you should be working on this right in that uh, template. So when you do your discussion, actually write it in the template. Um, I'll, I'll, when I grade it, I'll only look at the discussion section, but it's a good place for, uh, it's a good way for other students to give you some feedback about your cover page too. Um, and so you can see it's not terribly long. You can either do it in Word, you can just kind of bold the one that you want to answer. Um, you can also print it out, do it by hand, and PDF it to send it back. And that's what we're doing this week. Excited to see you.